Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, it's Sunday night. It's your moon box reading night, yes. Um, I have been at the pool, you guys. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm probably going to go back there. <laughs> Um, and I'm already kind of like a lobster red, but I'm having too much fun today. I hope you guys are getting out there having a good time. It is a gorgeous day, Cancer. And I want you, to, you guys need to have some fun, right? Like real fun. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Cancer, my darlings, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you. Thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys rock. Um, thank you, thank you, and welcome to everybody new here. I'm Mammy Becca. I am going to shake up the box, okay, Cancer? Um, so cover your ears. This is going to be loud. Here we go. I thought I saw something fly out of the box, but maybe I did it. I don't know. All right, let's see what we get. Guys, know I don't like to look. Ooh, somebody is tapped in. Um, I, this is, I feel like this could be somebody who's pulling on your energy. All right. Well, they're not happy, that's for sure. Um, someone could be finding something out about you on the internet. Someone could be trying to telepathically communicate with you at this point. I don't know what that's going to do, okay? I feel like um, I feel like this is someone who knows that they want to talk to you or knows that you're leaving them behind. There's been no communication, though. This is all like either like psychic communication or they're watching you on the Internet, like everything. This This is something that... Um, it could be something like this person sees you posting something on the internet and um, they're triggered by that, okay? They're triggered by something. Yeah, I feel like you're releasing this person and that's what they're finding out about. I feel like this person is angry. They're feeling panicked. They're kind of falling over themselves, just tripping over themselves, trying to find out any information about you. Okay, but I feel like they've got nothing. And I feel like you're hiding all of your f future plans. You're not... Um, you're not giving anybody any of your info, you know, maybe unless, you know, after you, after you get done with that plan or after you do it, you may say something. That's why I think you're posting photos or, or something of yourself or what it is that you're doing or how much fun you're having, okay? And you really genuinely are having a good time. I can feel that energy, you guys. <laughs> yes, I can. I can feel that energy. Um... So I feel like you're you're peaceful, you're calm, you're getting out there, you're playing, you're getting some playtime in, you're very balanced between work and rest and playtime, okay? And this person, they can't stand it. I, I feel like they're being triggered by something that you're posting, maybe on social media. They're very heavily burdened by this. You could be dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have to be, though. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. But you're definitely releasing this person. Like, you, um, they can feel that you're over them. Like, you're over it, Cancer. You've healed from whatever this person put you through. You may not feel the same way about them anymore. Like, you're starting your new life without them in it. And I feel like you're feeling really, really good. Your energy is really super positive, but um, but there's they're panicking and sad and upset and angry and grumpy. Yeah, you know what? All you want is change in this situation. You want some forward movement. Okay, you want your blessings to come in. You want to live your life and be happy. You know, so you are, and so you are. This could be a shift, too, just say, saying to yourself, you know what, I'm not going to think about the past anymore. I deserve so much better than this. I'm just going to focus on my future. I'm just going to live every day to its fullest. 
you know, Cancer, I feel like you're really freeing yourself from from the past pain and any kind of baggage or burdens. How to uh, ensure the unusual. Um, this person, I feel like they see you as otherworldly they see you as um, someone who's like an alchemist they see you as like a wizard a magician um, a high priestess it's just giving me high priestess energy they know that you're a divine being they've seen you be stronger than anybody else that they know and they can't believe that you have conquered all of those issues, everything everybody put you through. Not just this person, but a lot of people. Like, this person knows how hurt you were. And you know what? You got back up and you kept persevering and now you're out here having a win. You're, you're truly happy. You're a rarity. This person sees you as so strong, Cancer. But it's, it's shaking them up because your boundaries are just as strong and you're not going to lower your boundaries. I feel like um, you don't want anybody back from your past. That's the energy that I'm getting for you. Okay, yeah, and you're the total package. Um, yeah, I kept picking up on the song Hot Girl Bummer. Um, so I feel like, it, and Cancer, I feel like you're beautiful, you're vibrant, you're, you're radiant, okay? Um, you're putting out really awesome vibes. It's like you're calling in a new soulmate as well because you're so high vibing. You're good all on your own. Um, and you're happy. I feel like you're, you're happy. You could be very abundant as well. I feel like you guys are going to be getting some money in soon. Um, if you haven't already seen your abundance grow. But you are the total package. And that means like, um you're you're the kind of person that deserves a commitment you're committed you're loyal you're dedicated you're reliable you're strong you're intuitive you're independent you're abundant um in more ways than just money okay and you're free and you've transformed and you've reinvented yourself and you're ready man you're ready to take off into like a whole new way of life okay this is the beginning of a new chapter for you um fast i feel like this is you moving on fast and this is your person feeling panicked wanting to come in as quickly as they can plant grow maintain i feel like that's what you do you plant seeds every day you nurture it so it'll grow and you maintain it. This is what you do. It feels like you do a lot of work, Cancer, okay? This is a lot of work that you do. And now I feel like you're out there having a good time. You're just releasing, you know? You're saying, forget it. I'm, I, you know what? I just, I need a break or I need some sunshine or I need a day off or I need to release this last connection, let go of the burdens. I don't want to think about the past anymore. I've been too busy. You know, some of you are thinking about um, maybe how you have to go back to work after a long weekend or something like that. And you might not be feeling it. You, you know, you might want to take another day off or something. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, but I feel like you're feeling you work so hard. You have worked so hard, and you've maintained, like, steady progress, okay? Um, and I feel like you are reaching the point where you need to de-stress, you need to play, you need to rejuvenate, okay? <laughs> A love story. All right, so maybe a new love is coming in for you. Let me see. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's the conquest of it. Yeah, no, this is a, your person from the past still. Um, wanting to come in and talk to you. Wanting to confront the situation. They're scared. They're trying to get courage up to come towards you and apologize and try to get you back. This person, I'm, I'm telling you, they hate it that you're moving on. 
and they're tapped in somewhere so either they're picking up on your vibrations and moving on and and putting this person in the past or they're seeing something you're posting on the internet yeah i feel like they want to be loyal to you now you know and i feel like this person realizes that um you would have given this connection your all you wouldn't have cheated you wouldn't have left them you would all you wanted to do was love this person and they're realizing that and they lost somebody who would have been very loyal to you look at how i'm seeing the word dire this person is it's like they're in dire need um to come towards you and apologize this is um this is getting to be like a panic situation for them okay it's dire which is not good that's like it's like an emergency situation cool again i feel like this person wants you to trust them again they want you to see them the way you did before and cancer i don't think you do i don't think you do and right now you're feeling better and better you're feeling lighter and lighter every day somebody actually Thank you for the confirmation on that from this morning's reading, by the way. Um, seriously, you are feeling lighter. like, And it could be a change that literally happens overnight. Okay, for real. Waking up in the morning and feeling like, hey, I feel really good today. I'm going to go play. I'm going to go have some fun, right? I feel like that's what, and now that you have that... Um, that heal you know that healed feeling right a healed feeling like you're over this person you can go have some fun you can think about new things right now you don't you don't want to let that feeling go you don't want to go back and feel the pain from your past so you're moving on very quickly now you're like in your chariot and you're taken off okay and this person can feel it and they're really weighed down Okay, they can't, um, it's like they can't catch up to you. And I feel like there's a part of this person that is still being materialistic. Okay, this is about looking a certain way. Okay, um, I feel like this person is all kinds of like worried about their reputation or worried about what people will say or what people will think. Uh, I feel like they're they're worried about what you're going to think of them. They're worried about how they look, okay? Uh, already it's just giving me like superficial, shallow kind of... I don't think they've grown. I really don't. I don't think this person has done the work on themselves. Yeah, and I feel like if this person comes towards you, Cancer, you're going to have to ask them some serious questions, you know? I mean, don't hold back either. Ask them the questions you need to. Like, number one, are you single? Number two, are you wrapped up with anyone else? You know, um, uh, why are you interested in me? I want, I want at least 20 reasons, right? Like, seriously, you're going to have to really, like, um, really dig deep and ask this person some questions to see if they're even at your energy level because I don't think they are I feel like this is telling you to use your intuition and discernment because this person is about to come back in and I feel like they're gonna be like I love you I love you I want another chance this is our love story this is our connection here's the thing they can talk as romantic as they want okay but if you look at the layer underneath that if this person hasn't changed and hasn't done their work cancer i feel like that's just empty promises okay i feel like you know that though i don't think you want this person back individual determination yeah you're kind of you're moving on on your own you're moving forward on your own Okay, um, many of you are still single and you're happy being single. You know, nobody's breaking your heart, right? No one's lying to you. No one's trying to use you. Um, you can focus your attention on the things that will grow for you. You can, you can pamper yourself. Even when you were with someone before, I don't think 
I don't think you, they treated you as good as you're treating yourself. Okay, for real. These people didn't know how to pamper you. I feel like people from your past only knew how to hurt you. And so you're okay being on your own, especially being healed. And this determination is you and your chariot moving forward at great speed with a lot of determination, having a victory and being healed, right? Yeah, see, you don't trust this person because <laughs> this person made you feel very used. This was a player. And not only that, but even if they have changed, you don't know who they've been with during this time of separation. So you may even be concerned about, you know, catching an STD from this person. Like, you don't know. Um, so, and if you ask them that question, even straight up front, they probably wouldn't tell you the truth about that if they had an STD. Like, you feel you can't trust this person anymore. And, and it's like, you're not going to want to take the chance. I feel like you don't want to do anything that's going to, that's going to bring down whatever it is that you've created your stability um you could have started a business you could just be working really really hard here trying to grow your abundance um your your healing process you don't want to you don't want to go backwards after you've come this far you know there's a lot of reasons i think why you don't want to take this person back Okay, it's because you really don't know and you don't know what they've been doing behind the scenes and you don't trust them. Okay, where quality and education matter, I feel like you've learned your lessons from this connection. Like you've learned this person showed you at one point their true colors, you know, and even if they have grown, even if they have done their work. You don't, like I said, you don't know who they've been with. They may have something that you don't want, right? Um, yeah, you've learned your lessons from this person. You're going to look at all this purple. I've got purple here. I've got purple here. Um, you're very abundant and you're very intuitive, okay? So you're going to be, you're going to be using your intuition on anybody who approaches you self-discipline yeah you know why because you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in you don't i feel like you're good all on your own i'm feeling that empress energy here some of you are even celibate is what i'm getting shock I, I kind of get the sense that you're going to tell this person no, uh, because for many reasons, there's just so many reasons, you know, I, I feel like you're going to, for whoever this is for, and it's not going to be for all of you, I get that, but what I'm feeling here is you're going to tell them no, and they're going to be shocked. They think they can come in with this love story, do you remember the time when we fell in love right michael jackson is what i'm getting um yeah the time when we first met girl right um this person's gonna be like do you remember that do you remember how it felt do you remember how we kissed you know do you remember um our first date you know that things like that do you remember when we fell in love cancer and they're thinking maybe that they can come right back in. They're very burdened by this, though. Like, if they come in and, and talk about the fond memories and get you to talking with them about that, that they can easily get you back. I feel like this person's going to be shocked at how you respond to them. I feel like your answer, the no, I feel like you're going to give them a no. It's going to shock this person. Uh, they're used to seeing you as a total sweetheart cancer and you are you know but in the past you would have let this person maybe even others walk all over you or um you were easy to get through to right maybe people this person i feel like they know how to talk to you they know how to you know um play on your emotions right 
maybe get you to feel nostalgic, get you to feel like you want to welcome them back into your life, but not anymore. You're using self-discipline. This is also telling me that when you have this conversation with this person, you're going to be thinking logically. You're not going to be all up in your emotions. You're going to be very balanced in your emotions. This person is not going to be used to seeing you like that. You know, this person remembers you um, at it, like before when you were vulnerable and when people were uh, like they were taking advantage of you, right? I feel like a lot of people did. That's what this person is expecting now. They're expecting you to welcome them back with open arms, cancer, and that's not going to happen. You're going to, you're about to shock the, you're about to shock this person like crazy, okay? Yeah, you will soon be the center of attention. They're going to want to chase you, I think. I feel like this person is not going to want to quit. You know, you are going to shock them, but they're going to they're going to feel like they need to bump up their game. This person's going to try to like this is somebody who will try to like send you flowers, send you candy like every day for like two weeks. They may send you a gift. Um, this is somebody who's not going to want to leave you alone. All right. They're they're not going to want to take no for an answer. OK. They're going to keep trying and you're going to keep saying goodbye. <laughs> yeah. In a very calming, uh, soothing way, you're going to be like, no, thank you. Goodbye. No, thank you. Goodbye. It's going to feel like you're a broken record because this person isn't going to stop. OK, they're not going to want to quit. Our purpose and our mission. Yeah, cancer, they're going to be maybe um, talking about twin flame stuff, right? But we're soulmates and we have a mission together. We have a purpose together. You know, even if this person was your twin flame, you don't have to get back together with them. Okay, that's like a myth. You don't have to get back together with them. You've got free will and you're powerful all on your own. You know, you don't need this person's, I, I feel like you don't need their energy. They feel like they need yours. Okay, and you keep saying goodbye and they're not, they, they're not going to quit. Okay. Bricks for big ideas. This person, they're just going to keep coming up with new creative ideas as to how to get you back. This person's going to chase you like relentlessly cancer. Okay, they are. Um, I don't know. They're going to do these little things like there's going to be something every day. And that's going to that could go on for a couple of weeks, you know, until you talk to them, maybe give them a date. This person's going to be begging. I feel just a begging energy off of that. They want you to trust them. But Cancer, you just don't. Oh my gosh, Cancer. This person's going to be chasing you like crazy. Prayer, they're praying for another chance with you. They're going to be praying. Yeah, I feel like this person may even be trying to plan like um, a trip with you. Okay, this is trip energy, vacation energy, new adventure energy. So this person, they're going to try, 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 try. And then I think they're going to like get tickets someplace and try to like, um, I don't know, surprise you with a, a trip away. Like they're, they, they keep... Their little gifts keep getting bigger, Cancer, okay? And you keep saying no. Yeah, of all the things you'll put into it, effort isn't one of them. Cancer, I feel like that's what you're going to tell this person. I just don't. I, I'm going to put in all of my effort into myself and my future now. I'm not going to put in any more effort or energy into this connection. Because I feel like, Cancer, you feel... You're thinking that if you did get with this person, they wouldn't put any effort into it. Like once they get you back, they're going to do the same thing to you that they did before. 
okay? I, I really feel like you just do not trust this person. You're standing your ground over and over and over again. Okay, and they're going to keep coming to you and they're going to keep trying. I don't know. They're going to try whatever creatively they can, whatever creative idea they can think of to get you back. They're not going to quit. <laughs> they're not. They're going to keep going and going and going. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, Cancer. Yeah, compliment compliment magnets so um yeah this person's going to be calling you all the time giving you compliments telling you you're beautiful this is somebody who's going to remind you somehow every day that they want you this is definitely someone who um is not going to give up okay and they're about to start chasing you okay See, they're thinking it's going to be easy, Cancer, but it is not. Oh, it's not. Uh, but they, um, they're going to try to put in that work. I don't know if they're going to win you back or not, though. I really keep, I see you just keep repeating the word bye to this person. Bye, 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 over and over again. I just heard, I'm going to keep trying until you trust me. I'm going to keep trying till you trust me. I'm going to keep trying till you trust me. I don't know, Cancer. Just get ready to be, like, totally chased, okay? <laughs> anyway, my darlings, I'm going to go hit the pool. If anybody wants to come with me, just let me know, okay? <laughs> I'll be out there. We'll have some fruit smoothies, you know, listen to some tunes. Ah, okay. Anyway, my darlings, I love you. I hope this helps and resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, know that I love you. Take care of you and peace out.